Hello dear Ekans, welcome back to today's class. Let us begin today's class with read along. Okay, but before that, let us have a quick recap of the recent story. Recap time. Okay, tell me, is Annie's room big or small? Nate visited Annie's house, right? So tell me, is Annie's room big or small? Yes, you are right, it is big. What was Annie's favorite color? Yes, we all know it. It is yellow, right? Now, Nate found a picture of a dog in Annie's room. Where did he find it? Yes, he found a picture of a dog in waste basket. Right? Yes. What is Annie's friend's name? Yes, you are right. Rosamond. Who is Annie's brother? Yes, Harry. Harry is Annie's brother. Who all have seen the picture which Annie painted? Think. Yes, Annie's friend Rosamond has seen the picture. Annie's brother Harry has seen the picture. And also, who else? Yes, Fang also saw the picture. Okay? So, that is last class recap. Let us continue reading from here today. Okay? But, like how we do every time, let me narrate the story first. You listen and imagine. Then we will do read along. Okay? Now I am going to read page 24. Okay? So, let us just have a look at what happened in previous page. So, uh, Nate visited Annie's house, right? There, in Annie's room, he searched for the picture which is lost. But, could he find? No, he could not find it. So, Nate asked Annie, Who has seen your picture? Annie said, My friend Rosamond has seen it. And my brother Harry has seen it. And Fang. Fang also has seen the picture which I painted. And Annie is also saying, but Fang does not count. He is a dog. Right? So, Annie was telling that, but Fang is anywhere dog, so it doesn't count. But Nate said, everybody and everything counts. So, what does he mean? He means everything is important. Okay? Tell me each and every point. Everybody and everything counts. I. Nate the Great, say that everything counts. Okay, tell me about Fang. So, Nate asked Annie to tell about Fang. Is he a big dog? He asked. Annie replied, very big. Does he have big teeth? Nate asked. Annie replied, very big. So, Fang has big teeth also. Does he bite people? Nate asked. Annie replied, no. But will this help the case? Okay, then Nate replied, no, it will not help the case, but it might help me. It might help me because if Fang is such a dog who bites, then Nate should be careful, right? So Nate replied, it might help me. Okay, show me Fang. So Nate asked Annie, show me your dog fan. So Annie took Nate to the ad. So ad is an open space around the house. So Annie took Nate to the ad. Fang was there. So Fang was there in the ad. Okay, let us see what happens next in the next class. Okay, now read along. This is page number 24. I know you all know the instructions. Hold your index, open your index finger. Keep moving it below each word. And listen to me. Listen to the pronunciation. Observe the words and read along with me. But Fang doesn't count. He is a dog. But 
Fang doesn't count. He is a dog. Everybody and everything counts. I said, I need the great say that everything counts. Tell me about Fang. Is he a big dog? Very big, Annie said. Does he have big teeth? I asked. Very big, Annie said. Does he bite people? No, Annie said. Will this help the case? No, I said. But it might help me. Show me Fang. Annie took me out to the air. Fang was there. Okay. So this is read along. So now what you will do is as we have read a new page. So what to do now? What is next? Vocabulary. So these are the words which we are going to learn today. Okay, let us read them. Count, out, about, people, show, there. One more time. Count, out, about, people, show, there. Okay? You have to also write these words in the vocabulary section that you already do, uh, you are already doing anyway. Okay? After watching the video, write those words. Now, after that, in your English grammar book, in page number 10, there is an exercise 5. Okay? It is like this. So, what is it saying? Sort out the common nouns and proper nouns from the given words. So, these are the given words. Do you see a box here? And inside the box there are many words. Okay? All these are nouns. So, you should read each word and decide. Is it a common noun or proper noun? And accordingly, if it is a common noun, you should write this side. If it is a proper noun, you will write this side. Okay? Do you remember? The specific names are proper nouns. The generic names are common nouns. Yes or no? Okay, so that is today's task. For example, if you take chocolate. Chocolate, is it a specific name? No, it is a generic name. So it is a common noun. You will write this side. If you take Bruno, dog's name. The name of a dog, specific name. So it is a proper noun. So you will write in this side. That is how read each and every word and then sort them out into common and proper nouns. Okay. So today's learning engagements are we have already learnt page 24 from the novel today. So you also practice reading the same page at home. Use the reading audio resource which we are providing. Okay. While you practice. And then after reading that page write all these words vocabulary in the vocabulary section in your English journal. And after that, do the exercise 5 on page 10 in English grammar book. Okay? The one which we have seen just now. Okay? That's it for today, students. If you have any doubt, you can always message to the teachers. We can reply to you. Okay? Happy learning!